Halley 6 sits on a floating ice shelf which every now and then breaks off as a giant iceberg and I'm talking about an iceberg the size of a county. Um, so the building needed to be mobile so that if ever there was that threat it could move inland. We, we've sort of borrowed rather than invented from zero and the whole effect is of a building which in itself is an invention. You know, is there such a thing as original thought? And I think, you know, design by its nature is a kind of process of original thought, but we're all influenced by so many different factors, things we've seen before, things we've read and so on. And I think to deny that accrued knowledge when you're trying to design something, it would be to deny the potential of the design itself. The idea of a building being able to lift itself up out of the rising snow level is quite innovative, but actually the hydraulic system is no different to the hydraulic system that you get in a standard bulldozer or something like that. The, the guy who did a lot of our visuals, him and I worked very closely together in producing the original images of the building and he was a complete Star Wars fan so he was pointing me towards, oh do you remember that scene in The Return of the Jedi or The Empire Strikes Back, wasn't there a really cool window in there? So there's, there's quite a lot of those kind of sci-fi influences and you know I have to admit that there was no stage when we were designing Halley that I didn't have the Thunderbirds cross-section book sitting next to my desk. Um, I think for us as well, it's, I've had a very exciting collaboration with NASA on looking at uh, human factor components of designs for long duration missions to places like Mars. The exciting thing about designing in space is that you, every square inch, every cubic inch can be used because you can sit on the ceiling as easily as you can sit on the floor, which is quite fun. I think this station in particular was one of the first that placed you know, the kind of crew the occupants at centre stage. I think in the past, a bit like kind of spaceships probably is the same thing. You know, the engineering was the overriding factor affecting the design and, you know, the human experience is actually the thing that drives the engineering solutions, which is, of course, the way design should be conceived.